I know you miss me. I know you miss me. I know you miss me, but line. I know you miss me. I know y'all miss me, but guess what? Baby, I'm back, honey, and I'm ready to pour some hot tea in. You know what? It's been a beautiful week. The sun is shining bright, which I'm happy about. So I might have my car bathed. I don't know, because child, it costs so damn much. I had my car bathed the other day, girl. It was $30. That's just too damn much money. I could have fed Africa with $30, honey, paying that for a damn car wash. So I'm like, girl, and I don't know how to wash no car. I wish I did, but I just don't. And every time I used to try to wash a car, child, as long as the wheels were shining, I thought the car was clean. So, but anyway, honey, that's neither what, here yeah, nor there. But, you know, honey, like I said, it's been a beautiful day, y'all. We have so much been happening, honey, this week, honey. I don't know. I'm sure, honey, I might as well go ahead and tell y'all. I'm sure y'all already heard by now. But my co worker, um, Britelia, Brad, y'all know probably now, honey, that she is pregnant, honey. Brad made the announcement recently that she is pregnant. Now, we don't know what she's having, honey, but we know she's definitely pregnant. And a lot of people are like, Brad got pregnant? Yes, she got pregnant, honey. She and her wife are definitely having a baby. So everybody's excited about it. You know, more people are starting to have kids in a, in a later age because Brad is only 48 years old and she's um, pregnant with her first child. I mean, I know Janet Jackson had her first baby at 50. And if I'm not mistaken, Sarah in the Bible had hers at 80. So, honey, you can have a baby up to 80 years old, honey. So, you know, I mean, you're never too old to have a baby. So some people say, but, you know, they said 35 is the cutting off age, honey, to have a baby. But I don't know. But it's just very interesting, though. But more um of the LGBTQ community, honey. Definitely, these people, you know, everybody want kids, so you know, got to get them where you can, honey. So either you could adopt them, have IVF, honey, in vitro fertilization, or um, you know, you know, do whatever you got to do, honey, to get a baby. So people's been asking me, you having a baby? You want a baby? No, I don't want no damn babies, honey. The way honey kids are this damn time, honey, it's just ridiculous, honey. You can't say nothing to them here. You can't, honey. The way I was raised, even though I know you can't raise kids like that right now, but honey, mm -mm, you can't even look at a child. You look at a child hard, and they saying child abuse, and your ass going to jail for that. And then these kids today, honey, want to smart talk you, want to talk back and say stuff to you, baby. Uh-uh. If you say something back to me, girl, honey, I'm gonna pepper those little lips, honey. So you know you can't do that. So girl, I guess, honey, you know, um. It's just one of those things, honey. So, you know, I mean, you can't do it. And, you know, I got some words, honey. I mean, you know, the, um, from Brad, you know, she said some, you know, some quotes and stuff that she said that, you know, honey, she said it's been quite a journey, honey. You know, um, she said there's a lot of stuff we learned about women, honey, over the age of 40. She said, I never thought, honey, that I was going to have kids. The rapper, honey, known for her hit Functify said that she... Started their road, she and her wife um, started their road to motherhood last year when they tied the night in February. And at the time, honey, she said her um, her wife, who is the CEO of Kaleidoscope Hair Products, was launching a new line, honey, inspired by her wife and her wife's iconic braids and protective hairstyle. She said it started as a joke. She said they were like, we're extending our family. The brand said, she said, but then we got a huge response. It was like, oh, my God, do we want to actually have kids? And if we do... Girl, we better hurry up. So the brat said that she never thought motherhood was in the cards for her. Isn't that touching? Anyway, so honey, so baby, kids, honey, are a blessing from God. So honey, congratulations to the brat and Judy, honey. Yes, Lord. They are doing it and doing it well, honey. Um, you know, it's um some more other stuff, you know, child, honey. Um, Cardi B, you know, she's in the news, honey. You know, she and her husband has a little McDonald's meal. They said, baby, that they like going to McDonald's and um, having delicious meals and stuff like that. Now, people were wondering, like, really, girl? But you know what? Let me tell you something. If you're getting a damn check, because McDonald's is paying them very well, honey. I'm sure, honey, very well that she definitely, honey, don't mind, honey, saying that she, um, you know, eat at McDonald's. Because guess what, honey? I'll tell y'all, as I eat there, too, honey, I'll tell y'all, eat damn oxtails. And I sure don't eat the oxtails, honey, but... um. I'll tell you, I'm eating them if, the, honey, the oxtail company, honey, want to pay me a check, child. So, yes, ma'am, Pam, I will definitely um do that, honey. I will definitely do that, y'all. So, you know, people talking about um Nick Cannon, honey, and his seven children, child. Some people, you know, that's another rumor, too, honey. People are being messy, honey. People, Some people saying that Nick Cannon, honey, is maybe the father of Brad's child, honey. I don't, I don't believe that, child. How could y'all say that, honey? How could people be so disgusted to say that, child? But, 
You know, you just never know, honey. You just never know, honey. You know, as the song said, who zoom in who? Who zoom in who, baby? Because somebody is zooming somebody. So we don't know, but we're going to stay tuned, honey. But then a lot of people say, who cares, honey? Who's the father, honey, or the biological father, honey? You know, so now y'all, relationships, honey, are just really, really, I don't know how to put it, because I want to be nice about it. Sometimes relationships, you know, in the words of um, 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 Lala Anthony, Lala said married people are fucking miserable. And they are miserable, honey. I think they're miserable, honey. You know, I mean, it's just, honey, you got to go through too much, honey. You got to go through too much to please the person. You got, I mean, it's just too much, honey. Then you got to worry about cheating. People cheat, honey, and you got to go through all of that. Nobody got time for all that mess, honey, y'all. So I just, I, I, I don't know. I would love to be in a relationship, but then I don't know. But now, you know, um, speaking of relationships, honey, and this relationship, honey, is crazy. But Ray J and his wife, honey, Princess Love, they're back together again. He was seen pressing her hair, you know. So I, I, I'm like, really? Y'all didn't broke up, got back together. Y'all, he didn't publicly humiliated her, honey. Ain't no damn way in hell, honey. I don't think I can go back to you, honey. We would just be friends or whatever. But, honey, they are back together again. So, you know, hey, honey, like they say, to each his own, honey, girl, honey, whatever floats your goat or your boat. Whatever it does, honey, you could go ahead on and have it because, baby, ain't no way in hell, honey. I'm going to sit there, honey, and be there with you, honey, and all that other stuff, honey. No, ma'am, honey. No, ma'am. That right there will not be happening, honey, at all. Now, LL Cool J, we all know LL Cool J. You know, he was a famous rapper, honey. Or he is, you know, he also has that um, TV show that he does, honey. What's the name of that show he does, honey? He got a show, honey, that's, um, I don't know the name. I can't remember the name of it. But um, uh, it's one of those shows. What's the name of that show, child? Um, anyway, but nevertheless, honey, they got a boy, honey, a young man, saying that LL Cool J is his daddy. He said, he said, honey, his mama told him. He said his mama told him a long time ago that LL Cool J was his daddy. He said now nah, he's tired of hiding it. He wants to talk about it. his name is Love Benji. Love Benji, honey. He opened up, honey. He said that LL is his biological. What I said, biological, honey. He claims that even though, honey, the rapper, honey, LL, honey, alleged that he he knew that he, he was his son, he said he blocked him on social media and didn't want anything to do with him. Now, my question is, because LL and his wife, honey, been together for a long time, honey. Now, was he a love child or was he a child before LL and his wife got together, honey? Because if so, honey, you know, honey, that right there ain't a cute looking, but he said, honey, yes, y'all know him as LL Cool J, but I know him as James Todd Smith. Okay, girl, we know LL real name. Girl. We know it's government child. Don't try it, boo. Don't even try it. But nevertheless, honey, he said, baby, that he just want to meet his, um, he just want to make music. He said, because what makes him want to make music? What makes him want to be an actor? What makes him want to be, honey, a, um, a, a, a performer? He said, all of that, because LL is his daddy. That's a lie, honey. Anybody can goddamn want to be an actor, a performer, a butcher, a baker, or a candlestick maker. It don't matter. Just because you got some of the qualities or some of the traits that your daddy allegedly have, that doesn't mean, honey, nothing. Okay? So, buddy, Mr. Um, Love, um, whatever your damn name is, Love Jones or whoever, child, BNG, it don't matter, honey. It don't matter. So, And you too damn old, honey, to be trying to say somebody's your daddy, honey. Why would you want somebody to claim you? Why would you want to claim somebody if they don't want to claim you? If you don't want to be my damn dad after all this shit, to hell with you, honey. Boo, go to hell. I could care less, honey. I could care less, child. You know, period. Period, y'all, because it's not that damn serious. You didn't make it this long without him, honey. You'll make him a little longer, honey, without him. So there you go, honey. Love Benji. Find somebody else to be your daddy. All right, y'all, honey. Br I know Brandy Glanville, honey. From Real Housewives, honey. Uh, um, uh, what is it? Real Housewives of um, Georgia Tech or whatever that damn um, Housewives of, honey. But anyway, baby, this girl, she said, honey, that they um they gave her the boot, honey. They gave this girl the boot. They told this girl, honey, that she, um her allegedly, honey, inappropriate behavior, that she copped some of her drunken antics during the podcast appearance. And, uh, you know, they said, honey, that she was touching all over the girls, honey, and things like that, honey. And baby Miss Granville, honey, said, no, honey, she didn't do that. But she said, honey, they kicked the ass off the show. So I don't know what it was, baby, but what did Brandy do, honey, and to get off the show? But they kicked this girl off the show, which I don't think it was right, honey. I mean, 
I thought on this damn show, you're supposed to act a damn fool. You know, you're supposed to give up all this craziness, honey, and do all this, honey. Oh, Lord, honey. Oh, hell. Okay, girl. This just in, honey. Don't tell me, honey. Now, Lisa Ray, honey, you know, Lisa Ray and Brad are sisters. Now, you remember they had um, a family feud, honey, a while back ago because Brad did not tell Lisa Ray, allegedly, that she was getting married. Now it's being reported yeah, that Lisa Ray, honey, said that she wasn't told that the Brad pregnancy was going on until now. They said Lisa Ray, honey, McCoy has unleashed some surprising information about the Brad's recent pregnancy announcement. Now she said, honey, she was on her appearance on, honey, this recent show podcast. She said Lisa Ray revealed that she wasn't given any sort of heads up about her sister's pregnancy announcement before the rest of the world found out, honey. She said she didn't know, baby. Now during the interview, they said McCoy opened up about her rough relationship with her sister, which reached its peak, y'all, honey. When Harp, when um, when Lisa Ray was questioned, honey, about how she felt not that Brad is having a baby, Lisa Ray responded, honey. It took her a moment, and then she dropped a one-word response: "Wonderful." Mm. They said, "Baby, the tension was obvious for long for that long pause, honey." But as she went on to explain that she knew nothing about the pregnancy, honey, the ongoing tension, honey. Between the sisters became even more blatant, honey. Now they're saying, uh, Miss Lisa Ray said, when asked, honey, if she knew the gender of the baby, well, God damn it, if she didn't know the girl was pregnant, how in the hell she gonna know the gender of the baby? Now that's being messy. Then she went on to explain how she found out about the news. She said, um, she said, honey, before pausing and letting out a gift, she said, I found her through social media. She said, she also wanted to say, honey, this takes me back because I'm sure that you have heard the last kind of encounter that we had that went viral going on to explain that um, uh, that happened when Brad made a surprise appearance on Cocktails with Queens to uh, wish Lisa Ray a happy birthday. Yeah, and I remember that, honey. Now, Lisa Ray said this quote. She said, she came to say happy birthday to me to surprise me, and we hadn't spoken in so long, and I ended up having to, I guess, honey, what they said, cuss everybody out on the show, she explained about the previous encounter. Lord Jesus. And then Lisa Ray went on to say, baby, that she felt offended, honey, at the time because interviewers um, had been asking her about the Brad coming out, which she knew nothing about, so she felt slighted. Oh, Lord Jesus. And then Lisa Ray said, yeah, honey, that the two of them talked about it since then, growing closer and being more involved in one another's life, which is why, honey, finding out about her sister's pregnancy announcement on social media was so hurtful, y'all. Oh. And y'all know Lisa Ray recently lost her mother, too, and I, I text her and called her, text her, and she takes back, honey. So that was nice. But this is that, y'all. We just got to pray. You know, I mean, I guess with both sisters being big-time celebrities, I mean, they just probably don't have time to, you know, or remember to call one another, you know, to talk about, you know, these things and stuff like that. So I, I don't know. It's just, it's something, though, but, you know, I'm sure what we're going to do, honey, we're going to pray, honey, and, you know, hopefully, you know, everything gets better and that, you know, that uh, that they work it out, you know, because definitely, honey, Jesus could work it out, child, if you let him. And we all know that, and we definitely know, honey, if you let him, honey, work it out, he will. So we just need to pray that they work it out and, you know, just get on one accord and hopefully um, that one day, you know, soon that, you know, they talk it over and whatever their difference is, they work it out because I like both of them as people. I've worked with Brad and I've worked with um with um Lisa Ray before. So let's hopefully everything gets all right, y'all. Speaking of getting all right, y'all, let's continue to pray y'all for um Don Lemon, y'all. There, honey. Don Lemon, honey, you know, honey, he called these girls, honey. Um, he said that they weren't um, what's the word? They were they weren't not pure. They weren't um I can't remember the word, honey. But um you know, honey, he um, he 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 is really in hot water now, honey, because a lot of people are saying, "Oh my God, Don Lennon, honey, you gonna really get it, honey, for insulting, honey, the GOP presidential candidate, honey, Miss Nikki Haley, honey, saying that she was past her prime." Yes, and he said these girls are not in their prime. He said prime is when you're twenty thirties and forties or whatever, sometimes maybe fifties or whatever. But honey, Miss Nikki, honey, is fifty one. They said, "Bitch, you passed your prime, honey," and they said, "Honey." He was forced to go undergo baby um diversity training, honey. Cause the, honey, his co-host, baby Miss Poppy Harlow, 40, and Miss Caitlin um Collins, 30, honey. 
They said those girls honey was all upset, honey, and stuff. And darling, I gotta remember, baby, they're gonna give him his news, baby. They're gonna let him know, girl, you can't sit here and just say these things, honey. You are of African descent. And you can't just talk, honey, and say what you want to say, baby. No, ma'am, honey. Now, why these girls, honey, now why these pure European girls sitting here, honey, you will not make them feel um, old and you will not make them feel bad, honey. So, you know, they're saying, honey, um, Dawn made his debut back to um, TV recently. But a lot of people saying that Dawn may be leaving CNN because I heard the alleged that he's been having problems with them. And, honey, they've been, you know, he's he been wanting to leave. So, honey, I don't know. Now, they said, um, Mr. Lemon, honey, he had a, um, a, a history of being outspoken and causing division among certain groups. Yes, baby, that girl did that. Now they said, honey, on recently they said, honey, online it showed that Don Lemon, y'all, was criticizing black people for stereotypical behavior. Mm hmm Now they're saying that Lemon, he listed y'all five things that black people should do. Y'all listen to this, honey. Five things that black people should do, honey, to fix the black community. And he said, quote, black people, if you really want to fix the problem, honey, here's just five things that you should do and think about doing. Number five, he said, baby, pull up your pants. He said, walking around with your ass out, honey, and your underwear showing is not okay, bitch. Oh, Miss Lemon said that. He said, four, honey, stop using the N-word. He said, by promoting the um, use of that word when it's not um, germane, he said, to the conversation, he said, have you ever considered that you may just be perpetuating the stereotype the master intended? Oh, number three, he said, honey, Respect where you live. He said, honey, he said he lived in several predominantly white neighborhoods in his life. He said, I rarely have ever witnessed people, honey, littering. He said, I live in Harlem now. He said, it's a historically black neighborhood. He said, every single day, he said, he said, adults and children drop in, honey, their trash on the ground when a garbage can is just a feet away, baby. Mm. Number two, he said, honey, y'all need to finish school. He said, you want to break the cycle of poverty? He said, stop telling kids they're acting white because they go to school or they speak proper English. He said, a high school dropout makes an average of $19,000 a year. He said, honey, a high school graduate, honey, baby, makes, um, he said, makes, honey, $28,000 a year. Yes, he did, honey. He said that. And then he said, honey, a college um, graduate makes $51,000 a year, honey, over the course of a career. He said, and a, a college um, grad would make nearly a million dollars more than a high school graduate. He said, that's a lot of money. And, honey, oh, girl, Miss Lemon P, baby, this is cute. And the number one thing he said, baby, oh, baby, Dawn is letting y'all have it, bitch. He said, honey, y'all need to stop breeding out of wedlock. He said, just because you can have a baby, baby, doesn't mean, honey, you should. He said, especially without planning for one or getting married first. He said, more... Then 72% of children in the African-American community are born out of wedlock. Like that means, honey, absent fathers. And the studies show that a lack of a male role model is an express train, baby, right to prison. That was for Miss Lemon. That was from Don Lemon. All right, baby. Baby, Don Lemon P for that child. He said that, honey. All right, honey. Oh, ain't nobody mad but the devil, honey. Ooh, ain't nobody mad but the devil. So. Did y'all hear that? I need y'all to write that down, baby. Don Lemon said that, honey. All right, honey. He said that, honey. So, honey, we gonna just um take that. In the words of Shalomar, take that to the bank. Take it to the bank, baby. Yes, Lord, we gonna take it to the bank, honey. So, anywho, I like that, so... I know y'all like that too, right? Did y'all like that, honey? Well, Don, let me say the five things that you blacks need to do. So, honey, hopefully that somebody watching this hear this and that he to it, or that is adhere, or that he adhere to it, and hopefully that you know we um do what Don Lemon said because it's definitely something that you all should hear. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord, honey, I'm definitely hearing it. So, Don, you got my ear. All right, y'all. Well, anyway, honey, that's today's tea, honey. So, I mean, you know, just tune in, honey. On next weekend, honey, there's going to be so much more tea to pour, honey. I have so much more to pour, and I have a celebrity that I'm supposed to be interviewing. So, honey, I want y'all to stay tuned, honey. But in the meantime, honey, I want you to click, honey, subscribe here, like here. Don't like, but you're going to like this, honey. So, you just subscribe, subscribe and like because you like it. And I like you. 
So, in the meantime, honey, I want you to um, have a great day and a better tomorrow. And, honey, we're going to do this again soon, okay? Feliz Navidad. Peace, la, la, la. Cha, cha. Ha, ha. Bye. All right, y'all. Bye.